again here in the Adams Clark uh, commentary he says that Jabez the city of Jabez was built because he instituted a school of disciples they were called the Tauri Theory things because in their hymns, it means they were singers. He instituted also a school of music, and in their hymns, their voices will rise like trumpets. May God help some of us to institute school of music to teach people the sacred art of sacred music. That when they open their voices to sing, demons will run away, bondages will break in the name of Jesus. This is telling God, enlarge my territory. Mandori and Arabasayaba and she Muslims because in hearing they lifted their faces to God. He instituted a school of prayer warriors too, and they knew how to call upon the name of the Lord and receive answers. And then the third are called the Sukkah things. We read from eight in second first Chronicles two fifty five. The Sukkah things because they were overshadowed by the spirit of prophecy. I told you that I, I find myself so much in Yabez. He was an author, a prophet, and he had disciples. When you say, enlarge my territory, this is what we are asking God for. You are asking him to give you disciples. Here it says that these so Salmei were children of Zipporah, the black woman whom Moses married. And they were numbered among the Levites who came from the stock of Moses, the master of Israel. And he says that the first book of Chronicles says that he was an honorable man among his brethren. Let's see how the Septuagint has this passage. And Yabez was more glorious than his brethren. And Yabez invoked God, saying, If in blessing thou will bless me and enlarge my bodies, and thy hand will be with me and give me understanding not to depress me. Sometimes wealth and the plenty work or promotion God brings end up depressing us. May that not be your portion. God say, the Bible says, the Septuagint says, and God brought about all that he requested. The Syriac version says, and one of these was dear to his father and mother. And they called him my eye. And said, in blessing, may the Lord bless you. So that is why I said that it was somebody also blessing. And they blessed him. And in enlarging, may the Lord enlarge you and preserve you from evil. That it will not rule over you. I stand in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Evil will not rule over you. Because God has given you territories. Evil will not rule over you. The Arabic version I like so much says, this one was beloved of the father and mother, and they called his name Aina, my eye, and said, May the Lord bless thee and multiply thee. But the Chaldee version is, I like it so much. It says, And Yabet also, his Othenial, honorable and skilled in the law of God beyond his brethren, whose mother called his name Yabet because he had, she had borne him in sorrow. And Yabet prayed to God of Israel, not to idols. Oh, that in blessing, that will bless, you will bless me with children. So the first blessing is blessing him with children. Receive it in Jesus' name. Enlarge my borders with disciples. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I see God doing for me in this year. When I named the year, the Holy Ghost asked me to name the year, enlarge my territory. I did not know God was going to use me to ordain spiritual sons and daughters and move them out for the work of the ministry. This is indeed blessing. And I bless you, Yeshua. I bless you for blessing me with faithful disciples. That thy hand may be with me in my business. In God's business that you are doing. Let God's power overshadow you. May his protection be over you. No evil eye, no evil tongue that rises against you in condemnation shall prevail. In Jesus name. That thou would make me like my companions. And evil concupiscence may less grieve me. My God, my God. Enlarge my territory. Do you know why this man prayed this prayer i am taking you to matthew chapter 8 he prayed this prayer because one his name as we learned last week has caused him so much missiles even though he was a person of honor a born again christian placed in position a pastor a bishop a lawyer a doctor and yet having misfortune upon misfortune god told him to change his name 
Secondly, he prayed this prayer because he knew that without the power of God, he could not take territories and maintain it and live healthily. When they were going to take Canaan, Othenia was with Caleb. Caleb was with Joshua. And they met the captain of Israel's host who went ahead of them because the nation was idolatrous. And the God of Canaan was seated upon the walls. And so it was not by power or might. I have come to tell you, you can claim every territory you want to claim, but it would only come through prayer. It will only come by the hand of God. And when it comes, take it. Take it and pray the prayer of Jabez. I know people who have told me, I don't want to be prosperous because prosperity attracts enemies. <laughs> Jabez was not a fool. He knew it. He knew it so much that he prayed that if God blesses him and enlarges his territory, he should also keep him from evil eye, evil tongue. That is what I see. Anytime God begins to enlarge your territory, you should know that there are principalities that rule over territory. Sad enough, I have to say, it happens that sometimes religious leaders themselves become those principalities who hinder people. You cannot ordain. You cannot bless marriages. You cannot do this. Who gave you that authority? <coughs> that is what they ask. They ask Jesus. If these people would not do it, the territorial spirit, if it does not enter into them, it fights believers physically or spiritually. I have had territorial spirits presenting themselves to me in many of the cities where I go to evangelize. I was in Capri. The territorial demon came half man, half goat. I didn't know the name of the city itself and the city itself worshiped goats. I was at a city here in Brescia, it was the tainted dwarfs started came to attack me before the night of my program. Every city that I go to evangelize, there is a principality there that presents himself to tell me, this is my territory. But I come in the name of Yahshua and I say, the earth is the Lord. I am an apostolic prophet. And wheresoever the soul of my feet shall tread upon, I take it for Jesus. And so even if spirits have to bow, in Matthew chapter 8, Bible says, and Jesus entered, was going to the other side of the city of the Gar, Gar Gazen. The name is so difficult for me. Before he even arrived there, they tried to topple his boat by storms. Storms means trouble. Sometimes the troubles you are going through is because you are going to possess what you, God says you should possess. And people are standing there and they say, change. Wait and see if you go and take it. You, you were a pastor. Now you say you are an apostle. Who are you and where are you coming from? We will see if you will grow in this land. But as the Lord lives, the Lord that rules over territories and is not limited to space and has given us kingdoms and kings, he will prosper you. And so these demons tried to topple Jesus' boat. And when they could not prevail, they entered into a human being and the human being said when they saw jesus they said what have you come to do with us have you come to torment us before our time when i read that i said oh glory to jesus it doesn't matter what spirit will enter into human beings to harass you intimidate you curse you at the mentioning of the name of jesus they must bow if you go to take your territory in the name of jesus no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper and the demon said we are a legion a legion in the roman army means twelve thousand five hundred demons and these demons entered into pigs if they can't use human beings, they will use animals. If they don't use animals, they will use the wind. But whatever they will use, I have come to tell you, fear not, for the Lord is with you. It is a year to take territories. Hey, in Africa, we have something we call gerontocracy. The younger must not be uh, prosperous than the older. This is witchcraft. The Bible says God has given us all, each and every one of us, to re prosper and replenish the earth. He has given everyone their territory. It is God that divides the territory. And if he gives it to you, take it. This is the year of enlarging your territories. I have seen God enlarging my territories. I have had intimidations. I have had people saying, what do you think you are doing? Who do you think you are? 
All I need to say is God is enlarging my territory. He's giving me disciples. He's giving me children. He's giving me positions that I never dreamt of. That is your portion. That is my portion. This is the prophecy for this season. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. I prophesy unto myself and I prophesy unto you. Fear not. For when the demons see Jesus, they have to bow. <laughs> when you read the book of Matthew, he says, after Jesus had delivered this man, the people came and sucked Jesus from the city. My question is, if you get angry because I am ordaining people into ministry, you get angry because I am winning souls for Christ, hey, <laughs> Then what about the enemy? <laughs> it means that you have, let the, you, have, you have let the enemy, you are doing his work for him. May God have mercy upon you. May God have mercy upon you. I have come in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach to tell you, go, take territories, enlarge your borders. It can be in education. You were failed two or three times. But this season... This month, this year, make up your mind. Go and take it in the name of Jesus. Dream big dreams. I've also told you that attacks will come. But if you go in the name of Jesus, the angel of the Lord going before you, he is the one that will take it for you. And he will preserve you from all evil. And they will not harm you. God answered the prayer of Jabez. May he answer our prayers for us. In Jesus' name shall we pray. Oh Lord, we are asking you in the name of Jesus that you would enlarge our territory and your hand will be with us and you will keep us from evil eyes, evil tongue, evil hearts, evil imagination, evil schemes that brethren that cannot contain our blessing begin to marginalize for us. Every plan that they have made in their hearts, every counsel that they have taken against us, because you have given us territory, let it fall on their head in the name of Jesus. Lord, preserve us from evil. Don't let their evil words and tongue grieve us and suppress us from taking our territory. Grant our request. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God richly bless you. And thank you for tuning in. Shalom. Throbbing with energy and fever, the pearl of thongs on the day of Pentecost are vivid and memorable. Reverend Diana Edu uses her skill as a journalist and communicates the deep mysteries unveiled to her on the purpose of Pentecost. This book is the revered word preached on its authority alone. Reverend Diana's strong theology and unquenched spirit are evident even in her writings. Her years of preaching on a secular TV as an evangelist prophets and preachers skilled exegists has persuaded her listeners to a genuine conversion experience the power of the scriptures and your divine inheritance of the gift of songs on the day of Pentecost discover why Christ appeared to his disciples and learn how she unveils that where there is no Passover, there cannot be a Pentecost. A book you should keep for a lifetime. Rain down from heaven.